Well, we, we keep showing them, uh, you know, things that uh, we need to do to, to connect. And, um, you know, part of that is you, you see it on tape. And uh, we talk about, you know, the mindset uh, that needs to change as uh, far as uh, how we want to play here. And, you know, we, we've, we're offensive-minded. And uh, when we're not, it uh, just seems like, uh, you know, uh, this first half of the season, when we're not uh, involved offensively, we take it to the defensive end of the floor. And... Um, you, you just have to make sacrifices when you have uh, only one ball and, um, you know, a number of guys out there that, that can score the ball. Uh, we've, sh we've done it. We've done it. And we've, we've done it a number of times this season. Uh, but we just haven't been consistent with it. Nate, you've seen your team at the best this season with a seven-game winning streak, and now you've seen your team at its lowest point with a six game losing streak how would you describe the psyche among your team in the locker room going into the all-star break well you know just uh we talked about that and you know basically uh it's got to hurt you when you lose a game when you lose one game um and when it gets to two you know you need to we need to figure that out in game two and uh you know it just has to hurt you you know you uh we're just, it's not acceptable uh, to, uh, you know, just let it roll off your shoulders. This is an organization uh, that uh, when I came here and when I played against uh, has always had a winning tradition. And, uh, you know, that's just, you know, it's not acceptable. You know, you, the next time that uh, you take the floor, uh, we expect to come out with some fire and um, and try to change that after one loss and five you know uh, you know five losses and uh, you know tonight's loss uh, looked a little flat and um, you know maybe we're a little fatigued but uh, you know I think that team you know we've played the same number of games uh, they came out they've had a couple of days off but but still uh, you've got to be hungry. Nate, uh, Paul was saying the team kind of needs a spark. And yeah. the guys seem to get along well together. So how can, but the, it's a laid back group of players, I think you'd agree. How, how does a team like this get that spark, you know, that brings about some momentum? Does it need a personnel change or does it have to come within? Well, you know, we got, we got to go with our roster. And uh, again, we've seen it. We, we've seen our guys uh, do some good things and, uh, you know, you know, for the coaching staff to, to continue to uh, show uh, the things that are needed, and uh, you know, part of uh, of coaching, you know, it's, just, it's hard to change uh, people, uh, but uh, you know, sometimes you have to be open to change, and that's what uh, you know we are looking for uh, from our guys. You know. The, the, you know, some guys are, are not rah-rah guys. Uh, maybe not, they don't speak much. But uh, there's a time that sometimes you have to make adjustments and you have to open up a little bit more. And, um, you know, that's what we're working on is, is just uh, the connection. Uh, I think voices, your voice connects you. And um, we, we, we do have guys that uh, they're kind of quiet. And uh, we're working on that.